Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last here at the Rabbits. Staple for the Rabbits. Big John joins me. How are you, mate? I'm fine, thank you, Oscar. Always good to see you, sir. Good to see you too, mate. Um, you're kind of blending in and out of the shade a bit, but it's been such a hot day today. And when you put the hot weather with a pub garden and a run for Bull Army, can you get a better mix? It's unbelievable. You know, God smiled down on us today. Uh, we, we booked this about over a week ago. And you never know with the English weather, do you, with what it's going to be like. I've been, I've sat many a times in this garden freezing. So uh, to sit out here in the sunshine is absolutely first class. Let's talk a little bit about Johnny's journey because um, I spoke to him earlier and I said, obviously, look, you were signed by Eddie. You can tell Eddie took a bit of a liking to him. And when you're signed with Matchroom, you're always going to be well promoted. You're never going to be left in the lurch. But the fact that you can get turnouts like this for what was essentially a ticket collection, is it a little bit of kind of pinch me at times? It is, to be honest with you. You know, it's a, um, it is and it isn't because Johnny's so popular and we've learned to live with that over the last six months. You know, we just, we advertise it on Instagram, a few tickets. I mean, we've had about 20 people pick the tickets up. We must have about 100, 150 people come just for the drink and to, and to meet Johnny. I mean, we're just, two people just come from Southampton just to come here, just to meet Johnny and get their tickets. You know, that's crazy. But it is crazy and it's not because if I was a dad with my, uh, with my young son and he wanted to go and meet someone that he looked up to, you'd do it. So it's just, it's just brilliant though. It's just unbelievable. Long may it continue. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing everyone turn out in, in Sheffield for August the 6th. I want to take it back quickly to, um, uh, to Ali Pally in February. And I spoke to Johnny after and he said to me, he was like, a win, but a tough night's work. Probably his first real tough night at the office. And he did say to me, look, it came with a little bit of pressure. Everything was based around how many tickets he'd shifted. And, you know, with the responsibility of people turning up, does come that kind of weight on the shoulders. Um, I know you'll never speak out of line for what Johnny does and doesn't want you to say, but could you notice perhaps that night was the first real, yeah, this is real. And we've got a real serious support behind us. There's, there's a few things that night. You know, first of all, you know, not taking anything away from his first four opponents, but this was the Spanish heavyweight champion. He'd been the distance with Rivas. You could tell at the way in he was... Yeah, he won rounds against Rivas, you know, who's one of the best boxers in the world. You could tell at the way in that he was fit, he was coming to win, he was a real live opponent. And for Johnny to cut his eye after 30 seconds, a bad cut as well, not let it bother him, break his hand in the second round, and to win convincingly, although be it tough, you know, was great, but the, the, the support was unbelievable. Two and a half thousand tickets. Could have sold double that if we had uh, been given a chance. And you could, you could tell a little bit of pressure, but it's what you've got to learn. You've got to learn to deal with that pressure. And he's dealt with it. He's dealt with all them things that was against him. A few little things didn't go right in the run-up to the fight he weren't happy with. Hopefully that'll never happen again. And uh, he had a few little setbacks during the fight, but he overcome them. And against a good opponent. You know, this, this wasn't a journeyman. This was a good live opponent. So... Credit to Johnny. Yeah, and you roll into Sheffield August the 6th, all in good spirits. Like I said, everyone ready to go and have a good time up in Sheffield. And Johnny ready to face someone as well that perhaps he hasn't seen before, find another style that he needs to learn to work against. Because when it gets to the title stuff, you don't know who you're going to get. You could get someone from any country with any style. So I suppose looking to fight someone in August that perhaps he hasn't seen too much of a style and then, and then build from there. You're spot on, Oscar, because Nguema was a bit different to what he'd come across and he had to work him out and he did that. So, yeah, you know, fight different types of people because, as you say, it all stands you in good stead for the future. But we'll get his apart. I think they're sorting out the opponent any time now. We've got a few names. So that'll probably be announced tomorrow or the next day. And then, yeah, go to Sheffield. His hands all healed. His eyes all healed. We'll have about 800 supporters up there that bought tickets through me. And uh, we create as much noise as we possibly can. It's kind of, it's great to be going to Sheffield, you know, proper English city, you know, hardworking people, normal people. And there's so many people from Sheffield that bought tickets from myself. It's, it's humbling. It really is humbling. One thing I do have to ask you about, are you watching these sparring sessions? Because I see Johnny with the likes of Derek Chisora and I'm thinking I would love to see what they're about. Are you watching these sparring sessions? Because I bet they're so entertaining. Listen, I normally stay out of the way and contrary to what people think, I think, you know, Johnny should be working with his coach his managers and, and I'm just there as a bit of advice but it's just so happened I've had to take Johnny sparring the last few times I've seen him spar Chisora and Fabio Waldy twice I mean the spar with Chisora there was a sparring partner in before Johnny got in and it was so tame when Johnny got in it was like oh well broke loose you know it was, it was brilliant it's just the way Johnny is the way Derek is but it just helped both men you know such a, such a good spar and just so good to watch and the same with Fabio you know I saw the last two spars Fabio's obviously that bit further forward than Johnny in his camp. 
but they had a really good spa at the Origin Gym. And then they had their last spa up in Ipswich. And uh, they'd done six rounds, six really good rounds. I'd say, being honest, Johnny was probably on top for the first four, but then Fabio took the last two because of his fitness. You know, you could tell he was that bit fitter. But Johnny and Fabio always have good spars. They're good friends, but they push each other. They work each other so well. And uh, it's such a good spa to see them. You know, one day one might get on top, one day the other might get on top. But they're good friends as well, so that makes it even better. Mate, super. One more thing I'm going to leave you with. Um, have you got a message to anyone who's either going to be there fight at night or even people just buying the merchandise, the bucket house, anyone who's contributed anything towards the Ron for Ball Army. Have you got a message to any of those guys as we sign us off? Listen, whether you can come to this fight or not, I know it's hard for a lot of people. Whether you, Whatever you've done for Johnny, even if you just supported him on Instagram, social media, you're all part of the Ron for Ball Army. We're all, we're all in it together. And I said we sold tickets to Millwall fans. I sold tickets to Scottish, Scottish people, Northern people, Welsh people. But when we put this Ron for Ball Army t-shirt on, we're all one. And we're all one together under supporting Johnny. So thank you very much. It means the world. Bosh. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.